Our next speaker is Ed Osan with the American Council for an Energy Efficient Economy. Ed. Dave, are you able to cue me up there? Yep. Okay. Well, Dave's uh, queuing me up to say good evening. Um, ACEEE is a uh, nonprofit uh, organization that does leading edge policy work relating to uh, energy efficiency. Uh, we used to have substantial energy efficiency programs here in Maryland for utility customers. Back in the 90s, there was an assessment on electricity customers' bills. We all paid into it, uh, one or two mills per kilowatt hour. And we had some of the most substantial utility funded energy efficiency programs in the country. But all that went away when, when Maryland passed its electricity restructuring law in 1999. And in the run up to the restructuring law, utilities sought to abandon the efficiency programs and our Public Service Commission allowed them to do that. There was actually nothing in the restructuring law that required that efficiency programs be dropped. Uh, in fact, there was a mandate for the PSC to continue to look at cost-effective conservation measures, but the utilities abandoned them and the commission allowed that to happen. Is this, is this the one you want? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, good. Um, there's been seven years' worth of effort to try to restore energy efficiency programs for utility customers in Maryland, because restructuring or not, the same basic uh, principles apply, there's value there, uh, and customers come out ahead when investments are made in energy efficiency. And we'll mention why that is the case here in just a moment. Uh, in 2007, the, um, the, excuse me, 2008, uh, the General Assembly enacted Governor Malley's uh, proposal for 15% per capita energy savings by 2015. That's now a, a target that's written in the law. And above that, 15%, uh, 10% of that is assigned to the utilities under the supervision of the Public Service Commission to develop plans and programs to reduce per capita energy consumption by 10% by 2015. Now, ACEEE um, evaluated a program for 15% energy savings. If you go back to the title slide, Dave, just for a second. Um, that's the title of the report. I have uh, one extra copy with me. If there is uh, someone here in the community that really wants to dig into the dig into the uh, data immediately, uh, and at the conclusion we'll have our, our website. It's all available for download uh, from the web. But it's report number EO82. This is a Maryland-specific evaluation of energy efficiency uh, potential. Move ahead to uh, slide number three. That's the basic forecast. Not too much, not too much difference uh, shifting in the uh, sectors. Uh, next slide, Dave. Uh, prices. Here's here's a shock. Prices of electricity are going to go up. Uh, next slide, Dave. This is a, uh, a graphic that I'd like you to just focus on for just a moment. This is, this is a, a, a composite of, of data from uh, EPRI, which is the Electric Power Research Institute, as well as some work that our, of our fellow organizations, the University of the, the, the um, Union of Concerned Scientists has done, as well as ACEEE's own work. This is a projection of costs of um, electricity uh, in terms of cents per kilowatt hour from <clears throat> new sources of electricity. And you'll notice there that um, it, it may be a little bit hard to read the, uh, the graphic on the side, but uh, this level is about 3 cents per kilowatt hour. This level is about 9 cents. They range across from uh, energy efficiency on the left to nuclear on the right with the um, combustion uh, options there in the middle, various coal and natural gas, 
and that also shows the effect of adding a $20 per ton cost for carbon in the event that there is a, a, a cap-and-trade program uh, enacted and a value assigned to carbon in that price range. Um, this is levelized cost, so this is the amortized cost of the investments in these resources. But energy efficiency is clearly uh, far less costly than any, than any other type of new generating resource. Next slide, Dick. Uh, this is a, a comparison of the uh, costs of energy efficiency uh, experienced or achieved through uh, state programs across a range of states. California there, of course, on the left, but a range of states including some of those closer to us like New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, all showing in the two to four cents per kilowatt hour. Next slide. Um, many states have adopted the, the, the principal focus for achieving energy efficiency goals is the energy efficiency resource standard. And to this map now, we can add uh, Maryland with the adoption of our 15% savings target. The ACEEE, ACEEE report evaluated a range of likely and potential energy efficiency policies, the core being the 15% savings target, primarily to be achieved through state and, and utility incentive programs, uh, but also complemented by state and federal uh, efficiency standards, stronger uh, building codes, some R&D programs, and an expansion of combined heat and power. We have combined heat and power in operation here in Maryland now. Think of it as cogeneration. It's actually a bit larger than that, but we have some of that at, at Sparrows Point, as a, for instance, and we could have a lot more. Next slide. Our analysis shows that we really can achieve this 15% savings target. We can do so cost-effectively and the bulk of the savings will be achieved from uh, state and utility programs. Next slide. Efficiency reduces consumption, so consumers who participate directly benefit, see the savings on their bills. Some will participate immediately, some in a few years. Uh, the reductions in uh, consumption will, uh, will benefit everybody because the most expensive power plants supplying our region will be backed out or be dispatched less often. And I think a particular, con particular note for tonight, greater energy efficiency will avoid or defer investments in the most costly new generation transmission resources. Next slide. Actually, why don't we go to slide 12. This gives you an idea of the scale of this. This is um, our projection of efficiency savings that can be achieved, again, on a cost-effective basis, about 10,000 gigawatt hours by 2015, and about uh, the second date there should be 2025, 22,000 gigawatt hours. For purposes of comparison, the, the state currently uses about 60,000 gig, 60, and change gigawatt hours. This is a very large fraction of, of energy compared to the state's total consumption that can be achieved if we put the right policies in place. We'll move on ahead to the conclusions. As I've already said, there are lots of energy efficiency resources. In the Q&A, we can talk a little bit more if you'd like about what exactly those are. Um, we think that it will result in lower uh, electricity bills. And there is a need to, to stay on top of this in terms of good oversight, particularly for the utility programs, to make sure that there is uh, value delivered for the costs expended. And the final slide will have our uh, contact information. Uh, as I mentioned, the, the full text of the report is available for download. Uh, just wanted to whet your appetite to this subject this evening. Uh, consider ACEEE a resource. There's tons and tons and tons of information on our website, ranging from individual product information to geographic-based studies uh, along the lines that we've just scoped out tonight. So thank you.